In this example, we are looking to draw the Bode plot of the function g of s. This function has two zeros and three poles. The zero has a cutoff frequency at 1 radians per second. The poles have a cutoff frequency at 0 0.1 and 10 radians per second. And you have another zero and you have another pole at the origin. To start drawing this Bode plot, we can look at very low frequencies. To the left of all cutoff frequencies, find the magnitude of the Bode plot there, and then move towards the higher frequencies. If you now go to the left of all cutoff frequencies or to very low frequencies, what is acting on the Bode plot? If you look at all zeros and poles, will be to the left of them, so they haven't started acting on the Bode plot yet. Their magnitude will be zero, so they're not contributing to the magnitude of the Bode plot there. However, you have this pole at the origin, and this pole at the origin, you remember, adds a slope of negative 20 decibels per decade for all frequencies. So the only thing acting on the Bode plot at, in this example is the pole of the origin. What is the magnitude of the Bode plot then at 10 to the power of negative 2? We know that this creates a slope of negative 20 decibels per decade that crosses zero magnitude at 1 radians per second. 20, ra 20 log of 1 is 0. So at 1 radians per second, it should be at 0. If you now increase the frequency by a factor of 10, we should go down by 20 decibels, and the magnitude at 10 radians per second would be negative 20 dB. And if you go to 100, then the magnitude should be negative 40 dB. What happens now if you decrease the frequency? Well, the body plot goes up. If you go now from 0 dB at 1 to 0 0.1 radians per second, the body plot goes up by 20 decibels. The magnitude is 20 dB. If you now decrease the frequency by another factor of 10, the body plot goes up by 20 decibels again, and we are at 40 dB. So for this specific body plot, we start at 40 decibels. Of course, we see that here the constant that multiplies all this is 1. 20 log of 1 is 0. So we don't have to add anything to it. But if we had, for instance, a 10 times this, then the body plot at this point would be this plus the gain that would shift everything up. If that gain was 10, it would be 20 log of 10, 20, 40 plus 20, 60. But in this example, we have 1, 20 log of 1 is 0, so 40 plus 0 is 40. And now as we... No, so we are starting at 40 decibels at 0 0.01 radians per second. If we increase the frequency by 10, we go down by 20. So at 0 0.1, we have 20 dB. At 0, we would have, uh, at, sorry, at 10 to the power of 0, we would have 0 decibels. So this is the beginning of the Bode plot. The problem here is that by, when you cross 0 0.1 radians per second, we have a pole. This pole will add another negative 20 dB to the existing slope so long as the frequency is greater than 0 0.1 for all frequencies greater than 0 0.1. So the slope up to 0 0.1 is negative 20 dB per decade. If you now pass another cutoff frequency due to this pole, the slope becomes negative 40 dB per decade. When now the frequency increases by a factor of 10, the Bode plot decreases by 40 dB. So here at 0 0.1, we are at 20. At 1, we will be at 20 minus 40, negative 20 dB. The slope here is negative 40 dB per decade. This is the effect of this pole plus the effect of that pole. At one radians per second, we now have two zeros. Here they are, two real zeros. Each zero adds plus 20 decibels per decade when the frequency is greater than one radians per second. But here we have two zeros at one, at negative one. So this adds 20 decibels each which means that now you're adding 40 decibels per decade past 1 radians per second. Our current slope is negative 40 dB per decade. If you now add the effect of these two zeros, they add plus 40 decibels per decade, plus 40 minus 40 is 0. Now the Bode plot will become 
flat with a zero slope. The next cutoff frequency is S over 10 plus 1. So 1 over that is a pole. And this adds negative 20 decibels per decade as soon as the frequency is greater than 10 radians per second. The slope here is 0 dB per decade. Passing that cutoff frequency at 10, the pole adds negative 20 dB per decade, and now the body plot will again go down by 20 decibels per decade. At the frequency of 10 radians per second, the magnitude is negative 20. So at 110 times the current frequency, we should go down by 20. That is negative 20 neg minus 20, negative 40 dB. Because the slope here is 20 dB per decade. And this is the gain of function g of s as a function of the frequency. Now let's look at the phase. The phase is easier. We know that at low frequencies, once again, we have this pole adding, this pole at the origin adding negative 90 degrees to the phase. The pole adds negative 90 degrees everywhere on the body plot. So this means that this body plot starts, phase starts at negative 90 degrees. When you cross now the first cutoff frequency of the real pole at 0 0.1, this is another pole that adds another negative 90 degrees. So long as the phase, uh, so long as the frequency is greater than 0 0.1. So you are at negative 90 and now we go down by another 90 degrees. The phase becomes 180 degrees. When you reach one, radians per second this is the real zero each real zero adds plus 90 degrees to the phase but because we have two of them at the same location at one radians per second they add 180 degrees so minus 180 plus 180 the body plot now goes to zero and the frequency and the phase becomes and the phase now stays at zero up to the next cutoff frequency. The next cutoff frequency is here, it's 10 to the power of one. It's the frequency of a real pole. So this real pole adds, where is it? Adds negative 90 degrees, here it is, to the phase. So now the phase that is zero goes back to negative 90. And it stays at negative 90 as the frequency tends to infinity. Now we can attempt to interpolate this. It will be something like that. This is negative 45 degrees. Here it should be around zero. And here we should be, sorry, this is negative 135. This should be around zero. And this point here should be halfway negative 45, positive 45 degrees. And this is the approximate phase of the function g of s.